I'm just gonna wear this hat today, so please don't judge me. Hi, my name's Echo, and if you spend more than a day with me, you will very swiftly realize that I am completely obsessed with coffee. 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 So in honor of final season, I figured that I would take a moment to explain to you why coffee does what it does to you and how caffeine works. But first, we need to talk about your brain. Your brain makes and releases a lot of stuff, but the only one that we care about right now is this guy. Adenosine. Think of adenosine like a message carrier. Producing it is your body's way of alerting you that you should probably find a place to sleep soon. But your body doesn't know that it's 2 o'clock on a Tuesday, or that you have exams to study for, or that you're about to go into a very important interview, or that you just don't have time to sleep right now. Body, stop telling me how to live my life! But luckily, caffeine is a thing that exists. And caffeine is like an adenosine imposter. When you put caffeine in your system, it blocks the adenosine receptors in your brain, so the message, you need to go to sleep now, isn't getting through. But you aren't really fooling your body. It knows the message isn't getting through, it doesn't know why, it doesn't realize you are consciously doing this to yourself. So you know what your body does in response? Produce all the adenosine! Your body continues to release adenosine to try and get that message through, so your brain now has an excess of adenosine being held back by an ever-decreasing amount of caffeine. So naturally, when that caffeine is gone, you are hit with a tidal wave of exhaustion. Otherwise known as a crash. Segue, segue. Did you know that American brewed coffee actually has more caffeine than espresso drinks like lattes and cappuccinos? Because although espresso does have more caffeine ounce per ounce, there are only about two ounces of espresso in a latte with 10 ounces of steamed milk piled on top of it. Guess I used to work at a coffee place because that's how obsessed with coffee I am. So if you're going to take away anything from this video, please take away this. Caffeine doesn't really give you energy so much as it just stops you from feeling tired, and that's why if you need to stay awake, it's extremely important to eat healthy food with lots of B vitamins. There is a reason that energy shots have over 8,000% your recommended daily dose of vitamin B12. No seriously, look at the nutrition facts, oh my god, over 8,000%. Thousand. Disclaimer! Pretty much all of this is based on my personal understanding of caffeine and research I've done on the internet, and we all know how reliable the internet is. If you want to join my wonderfully weird little community, then you can click right here, or if you like this video, you can like it, that's cool too. And hopefully I will see you next week. Later. Cat. Come at the cat. And let's send some sort of sun stones. What do you think about the hat? Is the hat too much? Should I wear this for my science -y videos? This is the most scientific cat hat in the universe. Cat hat of science. Cat hat of science.